place a stone floor right here where I am now. Ah, oh, my, um... Um... Oh, okay. Has it been like this the whole time, or am I going crazy? Where is my gun gone? I want to... <laughs> I like how when you point it... <laughs> what? What have they done? <laughs> oh, this should not amuse me so much. What is up everybody and welcome back to Last Day on Earth Survival. So as you can see from my screen, I am on a raid. But before I get into that, I just want to say I finally got everything sorted with the Kefir support and they sent me some stuff in my inbox. So I got three Glocks, 10 engine parts, 50 combat gear coupons, a VSS, 20 steel plates, two circuits and three C4. Which should be enough. Well, it's not exactly the same as what I lost, but I lost three floppy disks, which would have been six C4, but it also wouldn't have gotten me the steel back. Right. Okay, so they've got hatchets in their truck. So I'm off on a raid at the moment. This is one. This is a revenge raid. Let me just put a quick overlay on the screen of what I lost. There you are. Right. So. With the new changes to raiding, you need to bring hatchets with you to break into everything. So, much ado, let's... Okay, well, I need that anyway so I can make myself some more hatchets. Right, so this is going to be... that's going to be all wood. I feel like that's going to be the cloth. See, this is the issue with this base. Chests. Everywhere. No discernible pattern for where anything could be. Rubber parts. I'm guessing this one's going to be bearings. Okay! Perfect! Six steel! I'll take it! Come on, and die, 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 die. Decided what I'm going to do is start putting the name of the base that I raid in that video in the description so that if I go out raiding again and the base looks familiar I can just find the video right transistors see I, this is just complete guesswork I have absolutely no idea where anything will be I'll take this always need more of the petrol now since the damn turret is so expensive to keep running, which I am probably not actually going to keep running. I'll upgrade it eventually to the maximum level and then just let it sit there until multiplayer comes out. There you go. Take that and you can have that. And I don't know, you can have a stack of charcoal. Right. So we've got your furnaces here. You'd think you'd have your charcoal next to your furnaces, but no. You're the most unorganised player in the entire game. Except for maybe myself. Although, no, I have organisation in this game. Right, I'm taking this. And I'm killing these. Ooh, hopefully I can find an armour chest, because mine is pretty close to breaking. Oh, that's weird. I was told that you raise noise when you get hit now. But apparently, you do not. So that was the charcoal. That's the hide. Is this going to be where you keep all your armor? Nope, that's where you keep your hammers. Of course it is. Because why wouldn't it? Let's go for this one. I hate bases like this. Hmm. You know what? I need the bars more than the plates. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going through like this. I can open, I think, three more. Okay, I do like the bricks, but I haven't got any oak at the moment, so it would be 
bit of a waste to take the bricks. Okay, it's going to start to hurt unless I can find the armor chest. Because I want to keep all that lovely SWAT armor in the inbox. So that was there. It's there. Hmm. Let's, let's see if you've got oak in this one. I mean, you haven't got... Actually, no, they won't. They haven't got a chopper. Raw stone. Yeah, should have thought that through. Let's see what's the other side of the welcome map. So you come in right in the middle. And you put your guns in here. Engine parts. Wrenches. Pretty damn good. Got his engine parts. What have we got in here? This is the last one. And swap boots. Run, 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 run. Alright, I get it. You don't like me. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Okay, so that was actually a pretty decent raid. Didn't have to use any C4. No walls, but you had all the stone floors. So let's head back to the base and take a look at all of our lovely loot. And my raid time is up to 22 days, 12 hours. So I'm not going to need to do any of the raiders' quests for a while. I mean, I'll still do them gradually, but I'm not going to skip through them like I have been, because the whole reason I was doing that was to build up the timer to make sure that I get revenge raids. Right. Where are you, Mr. Chopper? Oh, there's a fast bite right there. No, there isn't. And this is what we got for loot. <laughs> Pretty happy with this. Oh, I accidentally took a half stack of the fox stuff. That was silly. Right, let's quickly stash these bits in there so I can go and put everything else away. And let's have a look at our ch out of our um What? It's got enough fuel to keep running, but it's not turned on. Okay, and I'm back. Sorry about that. I um had to go downstairs and get some post. And whilst I was there I kind of dropped dead a little bit. Come on. Let's get everything back, equip that, take all of that, put our booties on, no, come on, what are you, thank you, and we'll take that, and there we go, I've moved my new body, moved my dead body, right, why is this not working, because it's got fuel for, ah, it got broken when I was braided, okay, but they didn't actually come in through here. Hmm. What I might do is place a stone floor right here where I am now. Ah, oh, my um, um. Oh, okay. Has it been like this the whole time, or am I going crazy? Where is my gun gone? I want to. <laughs> I like how when you point it. <laughs> what? What have they done? <laughs> oh, this should not amuse me so much. Uh, the devs have messed up a little bit there. Do 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 do. It's just playing with a pretend gun. Right, let's get that stashed away. So we've got two steel bars, um, four steel bars from that, and two steel plates. Okay. Oh, yeah, I actually had nails crafting at the moment as well. So that'll bring us up to five steel. We've already got three in there, so that's eight plus the 20 in the inventory. So we've got 28 steel. So, theory. I could upgrade this and you know what I'm gonna might as well do it here we go and I'm gonna need the aluminium take that and you take that let's go to the inbox grab the steel because I would have upgraded this already if I hadn't lost the items right Ta -da! Oh, this is starting to look good. So, already got four steel walls. Just need to upgrade two more floors. And then, obviously... So, 
I'm going... There's... Hmm. There's no way around it. I'm going to have to have three, um, two steel doorways. So I can demolish these internal walls eventually. But that's going to take 50... And then another 40, so that's 90, 30, 110 more steel to finish this. I think if I keep working at it, I'm going to be able to do it. I don't see any reason why I shouldn't be able to. It's just going to take a while. Stop picking that up. There we go. And you take them. So we're up to 24 engine parts, 3 electronic circuits. And of course, we have the two electronic circuits in the inbox to work with. Because, oh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, but the turret over here, when you upgrade it, it actually requires electronic circuits to upgrade. Oh, that's annoying. It used all of the turret parts to repair it, and it didn't even bring it up to full health. Disgraceful. Upgrade it. Okay, so we can keep it running. So we'll need... Okay, so we can prepare all of this in advance and then just upgrade it when we're ready. So that's good. Oh, that'll add 300 health to it. That's massive. So we'll need 40 turret parts. One circuit could do that. Steel, we can do that. All of this we could do. Just going to have to wait for the bunker to reset to get the turret parts. This will be... That's surprisingly easy to do. I mean, obviously it'll be expensive for people that can't afford to gun down every turret in their path. Especially since what they've done to the bow. Right. Let's... <laughs> I still can't get over that stupid animation. What quests have we got at the moment? Uh, make a full set of tactical armor. Kill 15 toxic abominations. Clear the bunker second floor. And kill the blind one. You know what? I have never... Oh, no! Oh, dear, they can loot the pickup truck now. Ah, oh, I had so many random useless items in there. Oh, that's unfortunate, because I've been using my pickup truck as a nice donations box, basically, for when, if actual people come to Raybot Base, they would get the stuff out of the truck, but damn! So many people are going to lose stuff. I know YouTubers are people that have got gas tanks and everything in there. That's... That's a bit of a kick in the rules. Right. Go on, then. Let's finish organising the inventory. Get everything put away. You can take one more. There you go. That's going to be another steel made soon. Let's set you making copper. And might as well set out making copper as well. Have I got any copper rot yet? And you can take not enough to make another one. Great. <laughs> right, so let's just stash everything. I know I'm just throwing stuff away randomly and that annoys some people, but I like annoying you. No, it's... I can't be bothered. When I'm on video, I just want to get everything stashed away quick as possible. Right. Uh, so we're going to need full set of SWAT, which we've got in the inventory to take with us. Rather fortunate. And... Aha! I've got an empty gun chest here. I got sick of having so many guns, so I just cleared out the bunker on hard mode yesterday, only using guns. Well, only using the M16s and a couple of AKs. Right. Look, I'm starting to have actual space in my gun boxes again. I don't like it. I want more guns back. Right. Have I got any damage 15, damage 15, seasonal damage 15, 80. Hmm. Right, I could do this with a scar. Or, hmm. See, you can do, I've been told that a fully modded AK is better than a shotgun for it. So you know what, I've got a lot of silenced guns. I think it's worth a try. And we're going to want to take that. There you go. And where is our SWAT armor? Um, 
Okay, so it was multiple sets of swash armor. Did not know that. How many sets is it? One, two, three, four, five. Is that ten sets of SWAT? No, because I can't count. Yeah. Okay. Did not expect that. Thank you, Kefir. Much appreciated. Definitely better than what I thought they had sent me. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Definitely not going to complain. And let's throw that in there. Right, now I have just accidentally stocked up my entire inventory again. Oops. Haha, <laughs> look at the guns going everywhere. Wait, I was taking that shotgun, wasn't I? Right. And I want to equip a smaller backpack because I don't want to die with my military. Right. But I will actually take the military with me. Just in case. And you know what? I'll take a spare set. I'll take that chest piece just in case I die. I want to have a spare set of everything with me so I'm ready to take them on again. And I'll take another shotgun. Right then. Let's go and take on the blind one. If I can actually kill him, I'm going to be so happy. I have died countless times trying to do this. Fire and smoke on the horizon. Oof, chopper event. Nah. I'll leave it for now. Let's run over to the bunker. And I've been tagged twice on Discord. What's this? Uh, someone saying they're not cheating the game. And someone getting hired by the official ARC team. Cool. Right. Let's go and see what we can do to this blind bastard. Because trying not to skip any of the raiders' quests. Just want to get it all done. Legitimate. By actually grinding out to prove that free-to-play players can do it too. I mean, I'm totally a free-to-play player. Now, I think I've probably put about 50 or 60 pound into the game, which is about 80 dollars. Yeah, sounds about right. Okay, so I'm gonna leave those there. Ah, I've left stuff here. Ooh, have I opened the red ticket crate? I haven't, here we go. Uh, where are my red tickets? There. Uh, no, I wanted to take 30 of them, please. What are we getting from the red ticket crate? <laughs> Didn't realise I hadn't already opened it this run. <sighs> we got a C4! And a couple of AKs, a couple of M16s. Nice. And a full set of SWAT. Ah, oh, that's cool. I haven't got barely any SWAT armour. Perfect. Right. Let's head up to the third floor. Well, I guess it's down to the third floor, really, because it's a bunker. Come on, game. Some zombies changed during evolution and they turned into terrible beasts. It's better to stay away from them. It knew I was heading to the blind one. That's just creepy. Right, let's go and say hello to our scientist friend. Oh, yeah. I died here. What was in my inventory? Just a hat. Okay. Not going to bother taking that. Have I left anything in any of these? Uh, almost broken. Okay. Ooh, five turret parts. <laughs> I'll take that. What can I say no? Yay, timed it perfectly. Right. It's shame there's not more turrets on the main levels of the bunker. Hello, dead guy. Oh, I thought they fixed that now. Oh, a poor scientist. Well, that's what you get for making the blind one. Jeez. Somebody shredded bodies in there. Hey. How's it going? So we want to stand right here next to this. There we go. I know I could have taken an extra hit there, but... I don't want to risk anything at all. Right, I think he's going to try and heal now. There we go. Whew, come on, I can do this. Don't glitch through the wall. Uh, missed a few shots there. Oh, 
Holy shit, am I actually going to manage to kill him? Yep, yep, yep. No, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop healing. You blind bastard. So he got himself all the way back up to full health. Well, half health, not full. Oh, that's annoying. So I can have to do the rest of it with the shotgun. Is it fast with the shotgun? I'm not entirely sure. Right, I think it's going to take one more run and he's going to try and heal now. Oh, actually. Holy shit, we're gonna do it! Oh, I killed the blind one! Holy shit, I killed him! That is the first time I've ever killed him! Oh my god, I am so proud of myself! What? Yes! I killed the blind one! Ah, screw you! <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I killed him! Whew! First ever attempt whilst recording, and I do it. So that's all I had to do, just record it previously. Oh my god, I did it. I, can't, I have died so many times and lost so many just military backpacks and shotguns and SWAT armor and everything trying to kill him. Like one time I went in and I accidentally had all of my guns and everything in my inventory. And I actually quit the game for about a week after that because I lost everything. Holy crap. I can't believe I did it. I actually killed the blind one. Wow. Um, <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Hello. Right, let's give you three dog tags, three personal effects, and three notebooks. And there we are. Bunker resets in a day, and we're going to be able to get the next floppy, which I'm really hoping will be an infected box. Right. <laughs> oh my god. I am going to end the episode here, everyone. It's been pretty eventful. Thank you for watching. We've had a fun raid. We've killed the blind one, finally. And opened a nice red ticket crate. Goodbye, everybody.